Hello, and welcome to my channel, where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'll be setting up my May perfume and body care tray. Thank you so much for stopping by, and let's get started. I'm using a monthly fragrance tray to make sure that I try out new items I've picked up, as well as to help me rotate through the perfumes and body care in my collection. I'll still use other scents if I'm really craving something, but I'll try to focus mostly on the scents on the tray. Since we're approaching summer, I'm wanting fresh florals and lighter, citrusy, fruity scents. I also feel like reaching for some coconut scents, but nothing too beachy or tropical yet. Before I get into my May fragrance tray, I wanted to share a quick update on my favorite scents from my April tray. Honestly, with everything going on last month, I didn't wear fragrance too much, but for body care, I reached for Victoria's Secret's Nectar Wave the most. It's really sweet and easy to wear, and it made for a really good bedtime scent. For perfumes, I gravitated towards the new Gingham Vibrant from Bath & Body Works, which I'm really loving. It's a powdery berry, candied violets, and vanilla confection. Now I'll go ahead and get into the May tray, and I will link the two-tiered acrylic shelf that I use in the description box. Starting with Bath & Body Works, first up is Watermelon Mojito, which has notes of watermelon soda, pink rum, and cane sugar. I didn't love this one when I reviewed it, but I picked up a set of the body care so I could give it a real try. It's like a bubbly watermelon soda with a boozy rum note, and a little sweetness from the cane sugar. I remember wanting it to be a little sweeter, but we'll see how I feel after I wear it some more. Next up is Emerald Mist from the recent Wanderlust collection, and this has notes of fresh rainfall, sun-kissed pear, and blonde woods. And I seem to be on a pear kick, despite not usually loving pear scents. I did like this one when I tested it though, so I went ahead and picked up the body cream. It's a very fruity pear scent with an aquatic quality. It's clean and fresh, and I think it has a nice soft wittiness as well. And then I have pear creme brulee, which has notes of baked pear, caramelized sugar, and whipped cream. And Bath & Body Works hasn't released many gourmand scents this year, so I pulled this one out from last year. It seems like people either loved or hated this one, but I haven't worn it too much yet, and I wanted to give it another try. I didn't find that I minded the pear in it, and I do enjoy the sweet notes. And next up is Gingham Fresh, which has notes of juicy pear, sparkling clementine, and fresh daisies. And here's yet another pear scent, and this was my least favorite in the new Gingham collection, but I picked up a set anyways because I wanted to test it out some more. The pear in here is sweet and juicy. I just didn't love the greenness of the daisies, and I wish that the scent stayed more fruity sweet. And last for this row is Ice Lemon Pound Cake, which has notes of sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake. And this is a very gourmand, frosted vanilla cake scent, and I just wish that the lemon was more prominent. I think layering with the lotion will help, and I also may try layering a citrusy perfume on top. I have a full review of this scent and the rest of the small bake shop collection from this year on my channel if you want more details. Moving on to perfumes, first up is Van Cleef & Arpel's California Reverie. And this has notes of neroli, mandarin orange, jasmine sandback, frangipani, beeswax, and vanilla. And this is a really nice citrusy neroli scent with a pretty mix of frangipani, and a sort of honeyed sweetness. It's one of my favorite scents from Van Cleef and Arpels, and I really want to wear it some more. And next is Lemon Island from Atelier Cologne. And this has notes of lemon, Indian jasmine, and Madagascar vanilla. It's not as lemon heavy as the name might imply, because after the citrusy opening, it's more of a floral with vanilla. I picked this up when Atelier Cologne was leaving Sephora, and I definitely want to test it out some more. Then I have First Love from Victoria's Secret. And this has notes of Violet Leaf, Lily of the Valley, and Sheer Musk. And this is a really fresh, clean, and airy scent with a little hint of greenness. It also has a soft floral note as well as sweet musk. I think that this will be a great scent for the warmer weather. And next I have Limon Verde from Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria line. And this has notes of lime, fig, tropical fruit, sugarcane, and tonka bean. And this scent does have some greenness, but I like the combination of citrus and fig. It has both tartness and sweetness, and I thought that this might be a nice, fresh, light scent for this time of year. And last for this level is Jo Malone's Frangipani Flower. And this is a solar fragrance with notes of lemon, frangipani, jasmine, ylang-ylang, sandalwood, and benzoin. 
I picked up this limited edition bottle a while ago and I haven't worn it too much, so I wanted to go ahead and pull it out again. So that's it for the bottom shelf, and now I'll move on to the upper shelf. So up on this top shelf, I'm going to start with my Victoria's Secret body care. And first up is Melon Drench from the recent Tropic Nectar collection. And this has notes of melon flesh, coconut waves, and bright clementine. And this one surprised me, and was one of only two scents that I liked in the collection, which I reviewed on my channel. It's a subtly sweet, coconutty melon scent that smells more like coconut than melon, which is probably why I like it. It's fresh and sweet without being too heavy, so I think it will be nice as we move towards summer. And next I have Lush Air, which has notes of lotus flower, salted musk, and citrus tonic. And this was from the short-lived Elemental Escape collection, and it's a light, sweet floral with a bright citrus and a breezy, oceany air quality. It feels fruity and tropical, and it was really the only scent from the collection that I enjoyed. Then I have Palm Lagoon with notes of mango palm, electric coconut, and island driftwood. And this was from last summer's Tropicroma collection, and it's a light, sweet, fruity scent. There's a nice mix of mango and coconut, and it has just a hint of greenness. It also has a sugary quality to it, and I love its light, fresh sweetness. It ended up being one of my favorite scents of last year, and I was so sad I couldn't find more backups of the lotion, but I was able to get several mists to enjoy. And next is Cabana in the Sand, which has notes of bronze vanilla, apricot woods, and almond blossom. And this is a warm, fresh vanilla scent with a nice amount of fruitiness. The almond blossom is subtle, and I mostly get a rich, warm, woody vanilla with hints of apricot. I thought that this was a nice one from the Forever Summer collection last year. And from VS Pink, I have Coconut Sun from this year's We Heart Vacay collection, and this has notes of toasted coconut, sunny vanilla, and ylang ylang. And it's a bright, sunny scent with a bit of a beachy, suntanny lotion type of feel. It has a nice sweetness from the coconut and vanilla, and it dries down to a sweet vanilla floral with hints of coconut. And moving back to perfumes, first up is Nashi Blossom from Jo Malone. And this has notes of apple, lemon, pear blossom, and musk. And this was a limited edition scent, and it does seem to come back every year or so. And it's a fresh, fruity scent with some musk. I haven't worn this one too much, but I thought it might pair nicely with some of the pear body care scents on this month's tray. Next, I have Yum Pistachio Gelato from Kaoli. And the keynotes in this are pistachio gelato, hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow, and cotton candy. And this one had such mixed reviews, and I decided to just pick up a mini bottle to test. I'll be going into this more in an upcoming video, but I'll say that this one surprised me. And then I have another one from Guerlain, which is La Petite Robe Noir Eau Fraiche. And this has a lot of notes that include sour cherry, strawberry, rose, pistachio, almond, musk, vanilla, and tonka bean. I haven't had a chance to wear this much, but it's a lighter version of La Petite Robe Noir with more of a nutty mix of pistachio and almond in addition to the signature cherry. It also has a creamy vanilla dry down, and unfortunately this scent is discontinued. And next I have Poppy Citrine Blossom from Coach. And this is an older scent with notes including bergamot, mandarin orange, freesia, violet, jasmine, ambrette, and benzoin. And this is a slightly green citrusy floral. I actually couldn't remember if I really liked it, so I wanted to give it another wear and see. I like these poppy bottles with the floral accents, and my favorite one is the Freesia Blossom version. And finally, I have Donna Born in Roma Yellow Dream from Valentino. And this has notes of lemon, rose, and white musk. And I've really been liking the combination of citrus and rose lately, and the lemon in here is more creamy than tart. It feels like a fresh and powdery rose scent with a little sweetness and a nice clean musk. So that's it for my May fragrance tray. I'm looking forward to wearing a lot of these fresh florals and light citrusy scents, especially as we move into these warmer months. So far using these fragrance trays is really helping me use up more body care, as well as making it easier to quickly grab a scent for the day or for bedtime without having to spend so much time deciding what to wear. Let me know your thoughts on my selections and what you plan to wear for May. Thank you for watching, I hope that you'll subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.